Good day, kings and queens. My name is Erica, and the title of this video is Bathroom Tile Makeovers, How to Get That Luxurious Look. Okay? I'm going to take you through the process of showing you how to come from this to this. Okay, kings and queens, here are the items you'll need to achieve this look. You're going to need one long tile. So when you go in your tile area, you're going to choose the, the long tile. That's the big one. You will also need the medium tile, which is like the hand tile. For this particular one, you're gonna need a hand towel that has some type of print on it. And you're also gonna need a face towel, a washcloth face towel, okay? You will need a pair of scissors. Kinda wanna get you a scissor with more of a um, defined edge. And this is going to be, you'll see what we need, we need that for. Some type of, type of elastic band. Preferably, you want the one in the same color as the item that you're going to put it on. And one safety pin. Okay. Now, the only reason you'll need the scissors is just so you can take the tags off of each of the items. And if you have the more detailed scissors, you see it'll get it all the way to the edge so that tag won't show and you'll have a cleaner look at the end. Now, with the next one, for that silver look, which I'll insert a clip here, the only extra thing you'll need is embellishments of your choice, some type of um, trim, okay? Kings and queens, we're gonna start with this second tile I showed you, the hand tile. What you're gonna do is just open it up nice and flat, just like so. Now you're gonna take one end and fold it exactly halfway to the midpoint and you're going to take the other end and fold it halfway to the midpoint and it's really easy when you have a print because you can see that the lines are the same on each side that's why that way you know it's halfway to the midpoint now after you do that you want to keep it even, so you're going to flip it on one side, flip it over. Easy as pie, just flip it over. Then you're going to take the very end of it. You're going to pull it up to about three-fourths of the way up, just like that. Okay? Maybe a little bit higher. You just want to make sure you have enough where you can have a pocket, see? So if you wanted to put something inside, it'll fit inside of it evenly. Where it's not too much over the top. That's where your safety pin comes in. Now, I've done this several times in the past without a safety pin. But what I noticed, if you want that to stay for the whole season, like for three months or longer, since they're decorative tiles, we're not taking them down, washing them often, because nobody should be using these particular tiles. You want to take your safety pin, and you're just going to gather both of the pieces. So you're going in, and you're pulling it back out. That way you have it clipped, just like that. That way it went through both ends of both pieces. 
okay? Now, after that, what you're going to do, what I call a pull in and under. So you're going to gather these two ends with your index finger, pull it in and pop it under. In and under, just remember that. So when you pop it in and under, you're going to play with it until you get a nice flat pocket. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. So as you can see, I have my nice flat pocket. Kind of like a kangaroo's pouch. There we are. Next thing you're gonna do is take your washcloth and your uh, wash rag, washcloth. You're gonna sit this to the side. And you're gonna do this accordion style. Lay it flat like a fan. Pop it in, flip it out. Hold it with your fingers so you keep that nice clean edge. And you're gonna do this all the way down, in and out, like so. It's very quick because it's just a little wash towel, washcloth, so it'd be easy. But the tip is to make sure you're keeping your finger on it because the fatter it get, especially if you have small fingers, the harder it will become. Okay, so now put your thumb dead in the center. Fold it up just like so. So when I turn it around, as you can see, I have a fan. So when you're going to turn it this way, that's why you want to cut that tag off because that way you can have it either way. You have a fan. Now, if you want to keep your fan loose like I had it, you're gonna bring this back on the picture. You could just simply put the fan inside of the pouch. But if you want it to stand upright and give you that tall structure fan, that's where the elastic band comes in. You just take it, loop it nice and softly. That way when people in your bathroom, if they wanna be nosy and pull it up, it looks like it's part of the decor. And all you do is just slide it inside, fluff it out a little bit. That's how you get that look. Now, with the other look, you do the same exact thing for the silver one. The only thing you're going to have a little, you're going to get a tie that doesn't have any um, design on it. It might just have a little bridge. What I mean by a bridge is it'll just have this little area. Now you have more details of the line. You just want to fold that so that's out because that's where you will add in either sew or glue your embellishments, your fashionable trim, like my silver trim. Okay. And then we're just going to put it together. And voila, you have went from ordinary to luxurious. Thank you for watching Kings and Queens. Remember, I have a link to my bathroom spring refresh in the description box. Like, share, and subscribe.
Remember, love is the main key. You become blessed, bless somebody else. Enjoy this beautiful life we are given, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.